Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca, and welcome back to Oliver's Wish. Um, we ran into those bullies that bullied poor Oliver here, and now he's fallen? Dude! Uh-oh. Did he pass out? I, I hope it was just him passing out and nothing else were bad. Quick, let's get into my house. Good idea. Hang in there, buddy. Everything went black. I felt really dizzy. I hit the ground fairly hard. My body hurts. And I felt a pair of strong arms carrying me. Who was it? Wait. Other than his friends saved me. Didn't they? Yeah. Chapter 5. Dearly Beloved. Is that a woman's arm? Hey, Oliver dude? Vet, Oliver? <gasps> Oliver, can you hear me, dude? <clears throat> uh, phew, he's okay. Are you alright? My head hurts, but apart from that, I'm fine. That's good. Dude, you really scared us there. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. We we're all just worried about you. Oliver, who are those guys? And why are they being so horrible to you? They were the ones who bullied me years ago. Huh? W what? Dude, they were the ones who... I'm not gonna say that word, bullied you all those years ago? I didn't say anything because I was afraid. But Oliver, we're your friends. Feli, he's been through a hard time. It's been going on for years. What are you talking about? Yeah, let's let like Feli in on Say Secret 2. Oliver told me about it. When he was a child, he was sent to an orphanage. At the time, he didn't understand why he was sent there. But he was... <laughs> by everyone there. His body had scars and bruises. It was painful to see him like that. He couldn't bear to be in a place like that. So, Oliver escaped from the orphanage and ran away as far as he could. But, he lost his footing, and he fell from a cliff. Oliver, is that true? Yes. After the fall, I woke up in the forest area outside the village. That was when you found me. I guess that's why he didn't remember anything about himself. <gasps> was that, it was... Mon Dieu! He came in quite a rush. I'm just glad you're all right. Princess. What in the world happened? He was bullied. He was being bullied by some guys that he was scared of from the past. <sighs> it's good to see that he isn't hurt. Ah. Uh, uh, well, yeah, about that. He, uh... What a day. So maybe we will have to help a dying old woman into a care home. An old woman? She wasn't feeling well for weeks, according to the doctors. Now they feel that it can be a last day very soon. Although... What's up? She did say she wanted to see Kirkland. Kirkland? Is she talking about Arthur? I don't know, Alfred. I need to check something out. Dying old woman. Where's he off to? Hmm. Was it something I said? It's alright, Papa. I don't think it was that. Alfred ponders there's something in the library. What do you mean, ponders? The library? Where? Okay, can I just find the cat first? Meow! Where the frick is the library? It would help if I knew where the library was. Oh, 
closed. Okay. This is- Oh! Hey, do you have anything in relation to the Kirkland family? This way. Here we go. Be very careful with these documents. Thanks, dude. The you say, man. Also, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see. The first thing that was among the documents was a marriage certificate. Why is there a marriage certificate in a library? Christian Glory Church certification of marriage. This is to certify that on the X of August in the year of 19XX. Julia and Richard were united in marriage in the St. Bartholomew Muse Church. Okay. Divorce form. Name after divorce. Richard Blank or Julia Blank. Name when married. Kirkland. Day of divorce. The XX. April 19XX. Age of each partner. XX. This is helpful. No wonder Arthur never talked about his parents. Never divorced. Time when married. XX. August 19XX. Have they children? Yes. Particulars? The names were crossed out. Those kept my mother, those kept my father. The first one was circled. His father was a dick. <laughs> yep. Way to talk about someone's father. There was another document. It was a birth certificate. Again, what's with the certificates in the library? Uh huh. Just what I've been looking for. Huh? This is to certify that Arthur and Oliver Kirkland of Wayne Blan uh, uh, was born on 23rd day of April to Julia and Richard in the year 1992. Oliver's name is on here. No way. Does that mean... So what's this? Dear Oliver, I hope this letter reaches you. Although I wish nothing more than to see you again. I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. I know that we said we'd both come back we'd come back for you. But I've been very weak and the doctors told me to remain at home. Oh, is Is the dying woman Oliver's mother? This was hard on me and not on Arthur. I still remember when you were crying. Your father treated you as if you didn't belong. But I was always there to dry your tears. You and Arthur were the joys of my life. That's why I tried to keep you both, both after your father and I divorced. Your father was so cold and cruel. There was nothing wrong with you, but he thought you were worthless and sh should never have been born. I was really upset about it. But I did the only thing I could to protect you. I sent you to the orphanage to be looked after for a while. But of course, Arthur didn't take it so lightly. Jeez. Every day I would see him looking out of the window. I was getting weaker as the days went by. He grew up to be a caring and charming young gentleman. But he never stopped thinking about you. He even cried every night. He was so alone. That kind of contradicts what he happened. I told him that he's old enough to make his own way into the world. So I allowed him to go and live his own life. He later adopted a young little boy. He took him in as, as, as his little brother. I wasn't sure if I should be happy or not. He chose to love his new brothers the same way he did for you. Arthur. Oliver. Please forgive me for not being able to come for you. I pray you will be happy. Can you promise me that, my dear Oliver? I hope to see you again soon. With love, your mother, XXX. I think she was asking for Oliver. So Arthur does know Oliver after all. Oliver never got to read this lever. Le letter. Lever? He looks so happy. Are you sure it's okay? Wait, I'm sure it'll be fine. I must be brave. 
Sure. First, let me save. <laughs> Um. Oh? Look at me. I must have drifted off. How silly of me. Excuse me, young man. Can you help me to my bed, please? Uh, of course. Oh. Thank you so much. It's no problem, man. Ma'am. Wait. Your face. I've grown up so much. Is that really you? Oliver? H how? It's been so long. Glad to see you again. M mummy it really is you, Oliver. Thank goodness. I'm happy to see you. I've missed you. I told Mummy everything. The orphanage, the village, and about Al and the others. Then Alfred saved me from these these those bullies. I made so many friends here. I'm happy to be in this village. Ah. I'm so glad you're happy again. Mummy, what's wrong? It's nothing, dear. I'm just feeling a little tired. Oliver. <clears throat> yes? Did you see Arthur? We'll get to talking about Arthur and the next part. See ya!